So here we're going to demonstrate using the Snap-on Polar Tech EEAC 330A uh, recovery and recycling machine to pull refrigerant from an air conditioning system. Uh, this is one of the more bare bones models offered by Snap-on. Um, it only works with R134A refrigerant, has the high and low side gauges. Just to show you a little bit about the machine before we get to On this side, you'll see that we have a valve that's labeled as closed or open for both the high and low side during the recovery process that will tell us when to open and close those valves. And before you begin any recovery process, you want to make sure you check the amount of oil that has already been pulled out and maybe stored in the machine so that we can recognize any oil that we um, capture during recovery. So right on the side of this machine, you notice we have a bottle for new PAG oil as well as used. I'll open this up so you can see it a little better. And you'll want to take note of what your current level is in the used oil or empty it if it's getting close to full so that when it does uh, purge the oil out, you know how much was captured from this vehicle in particular. So right here we can see that we're just a little bit below, below 100, I believe that is milliliters on this bottle. This machine does offer an automatic recovery and recharging process, but we're going to use the manual. Now with this one with the keypad, so make sure you are using the keypad to select the option you want. And we're going to choose manual recovery and recycling in this case. This will guide us through the steps. If you notice here, it tells us to connect the high pressure HP and LP, low pressure coupling, to the AC system. Open the side valve, which we showed you before, and press enter. So we will um, connect them to our vehicle right now. With R134A or any refrigerant, the high and low side are different size fittings. So you want to find the connections, couple on the, the quick disconnect portion of it, and then you have to turn in this uh, knob in the back to open the valve or depress the Schrader to be able to allow refrigerant to flow through it. We're going to do that for both the high and low side fitting. You'll notice that even before we open the valves on the side, our gauges on the machine display our pressure. When the, when the vehicle is not running and has been shut off for some time, these gauges should both read the same pressure. So you can see right now, both the high and low, we're reading 70 PSI. We'll open the valves on the side, as directed. Turn them both to open. And now we're going to press enter. This machine is going to start up and begin the recovery process. Remember, this is the only way to accurately um, charge a system. There is no way to go by pressures for R134A to know how much refrigerant is in the system. So if a system comes in that's suspected to be low on charge, you need to recover the refrigerant, um, keep track of how many pounds re were recovered, and then recharge the manufacturer's specs. Um, you will need to look that up uh, using probably a Freightliner service manual for this vehicle. Here you can see our display. It will show us the recovered gases, tank pressure, and our tank temperature during the process. This may take a little bit of time, so we'll just wait while it goes through its, through its act. So here you can see it's begun the recovery process. Um, currently it's recovered zero pounds, zero ounces. It tells us that our tank pressure is 80 PSI. The AC or system pressure is at 69 PSI and our tank temperature is at 70.5. Uh, remember, it uses the tank pressure and temperature to check to see if there's any air or non-condensable gases that they've recovered during the process. Do remember that before you recover a refrigerant out of a vehicle, you want to make sure that you use a refrigerant identifier and you know exactly what is being recovered. Depending on the size of the system, it's going to vary the amount of time it takes to complete this process. So you can see now we're getting down very close to the end of our recovery process. It's um, at 4 PSI left in the system. It says we've recovered 1 pound 11 ounces. This will keep going. It will go all the way down to zero and actually pull into a vacuum to make sure that we've recovered all the refrigerant out of the system. So 
So now this thing has crossed into a vacuum. It says negative 1.8 psi, and it indicates that it's pulled out one pounds 11 ounces. It's probably going to pause on this setting just to see if any pressure recovers and uh, pull refrigerant out again as needed. Uh, remember, this is an automated process, so you don't have to stand here the whole time. It might take 5, 10, even 15 minutes. You can walk away and just check on the machine intermittently. It will stop itself when it's done the process. All right, so our machine has finished both phases of recovery. It did a four-minute oil purge, and it did a um, air purge, checking for any non-condensable gases. This is the next screen we see. This is telling us to close the HP and low P LP couplings from the AC system and close the side valves and press enter. So we will do that. And this process is going to actually um, then later pull the refrigerant out of the lines. Now I know it says to re close the side couplings, but I believe that's an error. If we do that, it will not be able to pull the refrigerant from the hoses. So we're just going to disconnect the back out the valves at the hose, quick disconnect, and then proceed to the next step. And here you can see it says that we're at the end of our procedure. Tells us that it recovered two pounds, six ounces of refrigerant, and oil recovered is 2.5 ounces. Now we're going to want to make note of that, that when we recharge the system, we charge it with 2.5 ounces of oil. We'll put that back in since it was uh, pulled out during this process. Now, two pounds, six ounces. There is a label on this truck that indicates that the vehicle calls for two pounds, 14 ounces of refrigerant charge. So you can see it was a little undercharged. The screen tells us to press enter to continue. And that brings us back to our main menu. We can now service our AC system if we're going to replace the receiver dryer, compressor, whatever needs to be done. And when you're ready, we go into the manual uh, process for uh, vacuuming the system. Make sure there's no air in there and then proceed with charging the system.